it's going folks it's uh been a minute realized uh, it's been about a month since i've made any kind of update i uh, just kind of had my head down nose to the grindstone a whole lot of milling whole lot of milling as you can see timber yard is growing quite nicely uh still got quite a bit of wood to move through i think uh, i haven't done like an official count but i think i'm somewhere around halfway maybe for all the timbers that i need so that's fantastic news with the exception of this is january 1st and uh i am in the uh, lake effect snow belt up here in central new york which means any moment now the lake's going to kind of cool down and snow belt's going to kind of flip and move up here and uh i might just get snowed out before too long I got plenty of other things, computer work and other projects that need to be done inside, so that's quite all right. Um, we also had a bit of a <laughs> not so fantastic December. Uh, the old coronavirus swept through the, the household. A lot of friends and family all got it. Everybody's okay, happy, healthy, recovering, besides a little bit of taste and smell, perhaps. But uh, we're all here. I'm going to take you over to the log yard here for just a moment show you what's going on over there. And then I'm gonna sign off and get back to work. See you in a minute. All right, down here in the log yard sawmill area. And uh, you can kind of see here, I had a stack of logs from about there that came out to like pretty much in the driveway and was pretty tall. And I finally burned through that. I got quite a lot out of that. I was not expecting to get as much usable stuff out of that pile as i did that was kind of just like i tossed stuff there because i didn't have anywhere else to put it and uh had low expectations i do have some uh what i'll call questionable kind of junk logs or just not there's like eight or nine feet maybe of like straight timber in there and they're kind of small diameter so uh at best, I can get some of my like bracing and my uh, like purlin stock out of that. They only need to be uh, three by five. And I've had a lot of frustrating timbers like this one. This was like supposed to be a bad ass piece of timber here. Uh, and it was just rotted. Like uh, you cut into it and you just don't know what you're gonna find, but all of that in the center, rot. And there's like not much usable stuff there. And that's unfortunate, but I guess that's part of the game no sense in letting it get me down right so uh, like this fella here he looks awesome get really excited every time i see him and then i realize that this end here is rotted there's a big hole right here and then uh when this fell it actually cracked from like <laughs> this crotch down i mean you can see it goes more than halfway so literally nothing i can do with that guy and uh but like this, this little thing here with some kind of inventive sort of positioning on the mill, I can actually get some timber out of that. Uh, and then these also. So if I'm struggling to find small stuff for like bracing and things, those are all kept because I can do that uh, and use that for bracing. And then, so what I'm gonna be doing now is working my way around to the backside of stuff here. I've got, a sizable stack there's some good timbers here this was my stack of like sort of larger stuff i guess you can say um nice straight timbers uh so we'll see what i can get out of this um there's, there's really some nice ones in there i am desperate for some 8 by 10s some 10 by 10s uh and a few more 10 by 12s and those are extremely hard to find uh, at least with the material I have here on the property. So I'm going to burn through this before I get myself too up in a frenzy over trying to find good stuff. All this is oak back here. So I'm not going to be using that for the house, but other timber frame projects in the future, probably. Um, so before I get myself all worked up about not having enough bigger timbers, because I have scoped out quite a few here on my property that are going to take some work to get to, but they're there. And I found a couple on my father-in-law's property that I can get to somewhat easily. So there's work to be done. I gotta burn through this pile. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be like 20 degrees for the next three days uh, after today. 
and I've only got a couple hours to get some stuff done. Anywho, uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Thanks for checking in. Uh, I apologize for it being such a long time since my last uh, upload. I totally lost track of time between COVID in the house and doing work here on the mill and just trying to get through stuff before winter hits because I would really like to start cutting joinery in the spring. So just kind of buckled down. I thought, hey, I'll do a little update this morning before the weather gets too poopy for me to be able to use the drone, uh, for me to be able to walk around and show you some stuff. We'll be seeing you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.